Hello. Now where shall we start? I know. Let's look at our fingers. One little finger dancing on her own, joined by another one. Now she's not alone. Up jumps the middle one, strong and tall. And here comes the fourth one, liveliest of all. Stubby old Tom Thumb has nowhere to go. Put him with the others. And there's five in a row. Now it's the time for toes. Wait a minute, I'm going to take my sock off. Here we go. Beaty bow, big toe, Mrs. Moore next door. Solomon Riddle in the middle. Lucky Jim next to him. And last of all, curled up small, fat little Billy Ball. Now let's look at some of the things we really like to do. This picture says, the bath water's hot. It's fun to play in the bath, especially if you have some toys. Oh, look at that frog. I wonder if he's going to jump in. And can you see that little dolly dog? I wonder if she's going to get a wash. And look at baby. He's getting dried and daddy's making sure. He's very comfy in that fluffy towel. Now here's a different sort of splashing about. It's at the seaside, and Mummy's holding the little boy's hand so that he doesn't fall over. Oh, brrr! Sometimes the water can be rather cold. Here's Mummy Cat. She's coloured ginger, and she's having a rest, seeing all her little kittens playing. They're very young. But Buster the dog, he's getting old. Sometimes my home can get rather messy. So this little girl and baby thinks it's time to throw things away. But this little girl thinks it's also nice to keep the things you like, especially your dollies, and if you have a very good Book. Do you see the little boy in his cot? He's getting ready for bed, but it still looks as if he wants to play. Oh, at last, he's fast asleep. Shh, we have to be very quiet. Now here are some little pictures. Let's see what they all have to say to us. You can point to them as I tell you what they are. Some things are hard as stone. Some are as soft as cloud. Whisper very quietly. Shout out loud! It's fun to run very fast. Or to be slow. The red light says, Stop! And the green light says, Go! No, I do like this. This little girl is giving her mummy some cake. So it's kind to be helpful. But that naughty little boy, he's pulling that girl's ribbon. It's unkind to tease. All these little children are excited because they want a balloon. But Mummy says it's rather rude to push and grab. It is polite, she says, to say, please. Did you know the bright and shiny sun goes to bed at night, but in the morning it wakes up? So, night time is dark, and daytime is light. So now you know why the sun says good morning and the moon says good night. Oh good, here's Bernard. I like Bernard. Rough Bernard, tough Bernard. Stop it, that's quite enough Bernard. 
playing pirates, running races, wrinkled socks and trailing laces, funny jokes and wild faces, falling about Bernard, scuffle and shout Bernard. Ha! <laughs> I like Bernard. Now, what's one of the best things you can have? Yes, it's girlfriends. Marion, Lily and Annie Rose are three bonny girls, as everyone knows, sometimes bouncy, sometimes sad, sometimes sleepy, sometimes glad, sometimes grubby, sometimes clean, often kind, though sometimes mean. But most of the time they try to be good, and to all that know them it's understood that Marion, Lily and Annie Rose are best of friends, as everyone knows. Now, shall we see what it's like when we go outside? This one is called Mudlarks. I like mud. The slippy, sloppy, squelchy kind. The slap it into pies kind. Stir it up in puddles. Slither and slide. Oh, I do like mud. Have you been outside when the wind blows very hard? I like the wind, the soft, summery, gentle kind, the gusty, blustery, fierce kind, ballooning out the curtains, blowing things about, wild and willful everywhere. I do like the wind. I'm not so sure if I like it when it's wet. Dark clouds, rain again, rivers on the misted pane, wet umbrellas in the street, running noses, damp feet. That poor doggy looks as if he needs an umbrella as well. We usually see the clouds high up in the sky, but sometimes I wonder if they come down when it's misty. Mist in the morning, raw and nippy, leaves on the pavement, wet and slippy, sun on fire behind the trees, muddy boots, muddy knees, shop windows lighted early, soaking grass, dewy, pearly, red, lemon, orange and brown, silently, softly, the leaves float down. In winter time, when it's very cold, we have to put on lots of clothes. Cold fingers, cold toes, pink sky, pink nose, hard ground, bare trees, branches crack, puddles freeze, frost white, sun red. Ah, warm room, warm bed. Oh, good, here's Annie Rose again and her brother Alfie is painting a picture of her. Two brown eyes, one pink nose, ten busy fingers, ten pink toes, colour in her brown curls, colour in her clothes, colour in a big smile. And that's Annie Rose. Of course, Alfie and Annie Rose like anything that's tiny and crawls about. Lift up a stone and you can see a creepy crawly world. You can watch the creepy crawlies hurrying about, busily moving on many legs with strangely shaped bodies and feelers for feeling their way along. In a creepy crawly world, a tiny piece of twig is like a giant log which has to be pushed or pulled or climbed over or patiently gone round. Creepy crawlies don't mind how long it takes to get where they're going. But why they want to get there, nobody knows. Well, children, that's all for now. Thank you for listening and watching. I wonder if you will go outside and look for creepy crawlies. They are very small, so you have to be very careful and not to hurt them. Bye-bye.